Hi everyone, welcome to the Cali Kim indoor garden today. I have my spring seedlings going here. They were doing really well and then they got invaded by fungus gnats. So frustrating. I got rid of those and then along came the aphids. Has this ever happened to you? Well, I want to tell you one thing. It's not necessarily your fault. Today I'm going to share with you techniques for preventing, controlling, and the last technique I'm going to share is one that will kill these insects for good. Fungus gnats are those teeny tiny little flies that you see flitting around your indoor garden. Those are the adults and they really don't do any damage to your plants, but they do lay eggs in the soil which then turn into larvae. The larvae eat the roots of your plants and can kill them. So if you get rid of the adults, they're not going to lay the eggs, you won't have the larvae, plants aren't going to die from fungus gnats. Both of these insects multiply very, very quickly. And before you know it, you've got a big problem on your hands. The first thing you really need to do is prevent the problem before it even happens. The first prevention strategy is to sterilize your soil, especially if you're bringing home soil from the garden center. It sits around the garden center and often the fungus gnats will lay eggs in it and you unknowingly bring them into your house. What I do is I pour boiling water over my soil Mix it in and this kills any fungus gnat eggs that might be in the soil or you can actually sterilize it in the oven at a very low temperature. Then you let your soil cool before you plant in it. The second prevention technique is proper watering methods. A lot of us tend to overwater our plants. I'm definitely guilty of that. But the problem is fungus gnats thrive in overly moist soil. Let the top few inches of your plants dry out before you water it and then water from the bottom because it helps prevent the spread of fungal diseases because the soil is not splashing from plant to plant. And then you can control the watering a little bit more. Once the plants soak up the water from the bottom, don't leave the water standing because fungus gnats can breed in the standing water. Make sure you pour the water off. And then what you can do after your plants soak up the water, use a little skewer to kind of aerate the soil so the soil doesn't get too overly moist. It has a little bit of room to breathe and dry out a little bit. Make sure you go back and watch my video on how to properly water your indoor seedlings so you don't overwater. okay? Promise me you're not gonna do that. Now the next prevention strategy is using vermiculite or coarse sand on top of the soil because this takes away prime egg laying conditions for the fungus gnats. They don't like the coarse feel. So you might already have some vermiculite if you're making my DIY seed starting mix. If not, use coarse horticultural sand, not play sand. Just take a little handful and sprinkle it on top of your soil and that way the fungus gnats won't want to lay their eggs there. Unfortunately, sometimes despite our best preventative intentions, we get attacks of fungus gnats. When that happens, we have to go on the defensive. One of my favorite methods for that are these simple sticky traps. Fungus gnats are attracted to the color yellow and these things you just peel off the front and I'm actually going to stick some in my salsa garden here. This is from my uh, Grow Your Groceries with Cali Kim Salsa Lovers box. And you can get $10 off over on our website. And these are actually in the box. You stick them in your seedling containers, they catch the gnats, and then they won't lay eggs on your soil or bother your plants anymore. And you can see over here how well they work. There's tons of little fungus gnats all over these sticky traps. It really does the job and it's such a simple method. I mentioned in the beginning a technique that will kill fungus gnats and aphids if you have an infestation. And it happened to me a few weeks ago with the fungus gnats. And I sprayed with insecticide soap. Now this is really effective. It has potassium salts of fatty acids as the active ingredient. And when you spray the soil, you're taking care of any fungus gnats that might be on the soil or any eggs. And this is by Monterey Lawn and Garden and they're actually offering us a discount. I'll put all that information in the video description. And it's for organic gardening, which is great. It's safe for indoor use. And what I'm also doing here is spraying the leaves and the stems because this will take care of any aphids, which I did get an aphid infestation after I got rid of the fungus gnats. The great thing about this is it kills within minutes. The most effective way to control, prevent, and kill the fungus gnats and aphids is to use all these techniques together. If you want to take care of it in one fell swoop, grab Monterey's insecticidal soap and use a discount. I'll be reading the comments. We'll see you next time in the garden.